Hello and welcome to another video of Learn UX ID. I am Mohammed Hassan, uh, 15 plus years of experience, uh, a user experience designer, and I love teaching, uh, working on different web design, web app, mobile app design projects. Anyhow, so today's tutorial or today's video is about creating a glass, dark glass effect. You might have seen it uh, in latest trends, so we will um, start replicating this design. So. I'm going to share my screen now. Let's move on and try to learn what is this glass style container design and how you can do it in Figma. So let's get started. Now you can see this is the design and this is the container you can see over here. It has a blurred background and the lines behind it are actually uh, getting a blur. Uh, so also it has some border, very light border glassy kind of border around it and then uh, it also has some gradient over here so you can see it is lighter on this area and darker on this area so these are the things you have to notice whenever you are replicating a design or creating something new anyhow so let's get started and we are going to create a new artboard we are just preparing the background okay uh, now let's zoom in a bit and show you how it actually looks. So this is how it actually looks now. Uh, we need some more background elements. So first we are going to draw an ellipse uh, like this. Oops, uh, not inside this frame, but inside this frame. So oh, ellipse, we will move it outside now. Let's move it like this. Okay, so here we have the ellipse. And I am going to give it some bluish color like this one. Okay, so I think this is good enough. Let's add an effect. And the effect we will be using is layer blur. Okay, so we need a layer blur of at least 100. Um, let's use 250 like this. Okay, 400. Okay, 400 look, it looks great. Let's try to see if we can get more. Uh, okay, like this one. This one looks great. Color dodge. And I'm going to use 50% color dodge layer like that. So this is a nice background. Uh, now let's try to create our... Um, uh, on the top we had... Um, we can do it in many ways. We can create a rectangle or we can use an auto layout. It's up to you. So let's try to create an auto layout. Okay, so right now, okay, now I'm going to move it outside this frame. I think I should lock this frame because it is getting a lot of attention uh, from different elements. So let's move it over here and I'm going to use a box and now select this text, zoom in a bit and I'm using Golos text, the typeface. You can use whatever you want um okay so this one is good uh, let's create another text okay so we have two elements of text over here let's use this okay so auto height now select both of them and select uh, shift a to create an auto layout and we are going to have some padding around it like 40 on the left and right 40 on the top and bottom so here we have this whole um, let's have a bit uh, more on the left and right let's use 64 on the left and right something like this uh, now we are going to add a fill and of course the fill um, let's use a fill of like this darker color of this one and I'm going to use a stroke which is going to be white. So this is going to be my basic settings. Uh, let's use uh, color something like this. And the trick is first we are going to use an opacity of, uh, over the fill. So 40% and also for the stroke I'm going to use 50%. Okay. So let's make it round. Let's use 8 pixels roundness right now. So here we have the basic 
basic layout for a transparent uh, background uh, now the trick is let's add one more effect over here which is add effect for this box and it should be background blur so you can see now the background is blurred uh, on top of it let's use 60% over here 70% uh, okay so I am going to select a color which is from the background uh, to keep it more aligned with the design so let's use 50% like this so here we have it the basic uh, design and uh, let's see what we have missed over here okay so inside one pixels 50% okay so this is good Okay, so one more thing is I, I have to make it the whole layer. I have to make it a bit transparent. So I'm going to use 80% over here. Okay, so you can see as I change from this to 80%. So this is 100%. This is 80%. Okay, so this feels something a bit different. Uh, let's use a bit more of a grayish color over here. Uh, okay, so ellipse. Maybe we can try to change the ellipse. Uh, for this ellipse color so let's use normal and I'm going to use the same purple over here like this mm. yes a bit bright a bit sharp color oopsie okay okay I think this is the basic layout so uh, the things you have to think about is uh, number one is that your fill will be 50% and keep the fill almost the same color which is the background uh, then your stroke should be inside one pixel and it should be 50% uh, and you can even reduce it to 40% if you want to like you can see over here uh, next is that you what you need over here is let me show okay so the layer op opacity should be 80 percent uh, you can move it to 90 percent or 100 it's up to you okay so i i personally like it at 80 percent uh, you can move it down like 50 percent like this or 70 percent like this oh uh, it, it's up to you okay so what next okay so you have to add a uh, effect of background blur and uh, I think that is all so you can also increase it to 450 like this and this is how you actually create a transparent glass type one more thing you can add a bit more detail if you want to you can add more fills so let's add a fill over here and in the fill we are going to go to the linear gradient and direction of the linear gradient I am going to choose something like this and for this color this this is the top color over here I am going to use a purple and going to move to light purple over here like this okay a bit lighter shade of purple uh, like this and make it like this okay so you can keep it over here uh, like this too so if you want to be at the 90 degree this is up to you you can create something like this so you can see it adds a bit more um, kind of depth to it it has some lighter shade at the top and um, darker shade at the bottom it's up to you it's up to you if you if you want to create something like this so you can see you can also go a bit darker like this if you want to uh, change the effect okay so if you want to change the effect you can go a bit darker and you can go a bit lighter at the bottom you can see it, it is going to change the effect of your whole design so let's try to have a bit more lighter shade over here like this and change the direction a bit over here like this okay so this is how you create a glass kind of effect uh, in Figma and this is the basis of it. You can fine tune it. You can, you know, try to create or replicate or whatever you want to. 
those who might be thinking that I haven't created the same thing. So here is more refined version of it. And I'm going to share with you how I did it. You can see over here, here's another light. Here is uh, another light. And for the settings, settings for this one, you can see I have changed the linear gradient to 30%, uh, pass through layer to 80%. Uh, this color, this color I have chosen a bit dull uh, in the middle over here somewhere not black not purple in the middle a grayish purple kind of color over here which is set to 50 percent uh, then i change the stroke a bit more i change the stroke to dark dull purple you can see over here and move it to 100 percent one pic uh, one pixel is the uh, inside uh, height and you can see this is uh, this is what I call fine tuning. You change the colors, you change uh, a bit of things here and there just to add few more sprinkles to your design. So uh, I just wanted to share, uh, show you because uh, some of the students, they ask that uh, we are not able to create this or there is some problem with it. Similarly, this button, you can see this is my website, lenuxite.com. Uh, and I also have the other one, prodesign.tech where you can um, get me hired or uh, get me design something for you. Okay, so here we have uh, the same setting, uh, solid color with some 50% uh, linear. Um, this is basically a linear gradient. Okay, so uh, they have used a linear gradient in stroke. I think uh, it might not be possible with CSS. I, I will have to check <clears throat> anyhow. And the drop shadow is actually 50% uh, of the same color uh, with some blur yeah. and minus one is the setting. So on X axis, it is minus one. Okay. So this is actually, uh, let me show you. It is actually a white kind of, let's hide it and show it, hide it and show it. So it is basically purple glowy kind of effect uh, of the drop shadow. I think I have shown or taught these in my courses so if you want to hide it it's up to you i think i would definitely hide it right now uh, anyhow so this is how uh, you can build a nice glass effect with different backgrounds blurred backgrounds and all that um, shadows and all that stuff okay so i hope uh, you have enjoyed this video and um, if you have any projects in mind, you can always contact me uh, from uh, info at the rate of prodesign.tech or uh, my, visit my website prodesign.tech and there, from there you can fill the form to get to me anyhow. So that is all. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe and share this video. We will meet in another video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.